talking to Pokemon Blue. Uh, so this is Gen 1 Pokemon. I... Well, I played this when I was a kid, and this is one of the versions I have from then. Now the only thing on here is a test character that I made. It hasn't actually done anything. So yeah, definitely make sure everything's fast. I'll leave the animations on, because I like it. It's not even options for like stereo or mono, just like, yeah, you're playing. So let's go. I've been trying to play this for ages. Okay. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me Pokemon Professor. Or Prof, sorry. This world's inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. You'd never have guessed, would you? For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself? I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what's your name? Uh, is there a little case? Yeah, there is. Literally, your way of choosing gender in this? <laughs> they didn't add female characters until Gen 2 in Crystal. Yeah. <sighs> now, the temptation to call him Poopy Head is pretty high, but I'm gonna refrain because that would be mean. I mean, honestly, it's Gary. You can't call him anything else, really, so... I think that's how you spell it. My mind's not good for spelling. In a second while I check the spelling, Oh my god. For one, I've spelt it wrong. Part one, I spelt it wrong. Okay, so your Pokemon Legends about to unfold with your misspelled rival. <laughs> World of dreams and adventures, Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Let's make you lower resolution, shall we? To note that this is being played on uh, Pokemon Stadium, so I've pretty much done the best I can for getting the image to work. I mean, yeah, of course you pick up the potion straight away, why wouldn't you? map at this point. Ooh. Hey wait, don't go there. What? what? Why not? How am I supposed to go on an adventure if I can't leave? It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in that tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for the height for you. What? Or for your protection? I know. Yeah, come with me. How do people get between the town without, like... <sighs> Rams, I'm fed up with this waiting. Okay, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just... Okay, let's wait here to... These are free Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> They're inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was serious. Po I was a serious Pokemon trainer, and 
In my old age, I only have three left, but you can have one. Choose away. Hey, wait, what, what about me? Be patient, Gary. You can get, you can have one too. As you can see, the blown up resolution from standard definition, quite drastic. Oh, it doesn't work in stadium. Yeah, so what happened there? So what's happening is off the bottom of the screen, it's saying it's loading, so it can't actually react to any of my inputs. Because it's got to load off the cartridge into its memory first. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, we've done all this. I'm not going to pick Charmander this time. I mean, ultimately, spelling Gary wrong was an insult, but... Honestly, I don't know. I think I'm still gonna spell it wrong. I'm not gonna take the indignity of having like of not having bulbs so. I love bulbs, so come on. I know in a room full of EVs that's a Bit hot, but... Also, it turns out if you spell it with two R's, it's the name of a type of tree. <laughs> okay, yeah, lower as me. <laughs> Come on. Lower as. Test file gone. Also, I'm like doing some big time gambling with this one because it's an original cartridge. <laughs> and those batteries are not known for their reliability. Hey, wait, don't go out there, I know. You told me like 10 seconds ago. Hurry up. Advantage of being in Pokemon Stadium, you can play the game at double speed. <laughs> okay, so Charmander. Charmander, the lizard Pokemon. Obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to sprout out from the tip of its tail. So, you want the fire Pokemon? Charmander. No. Yes, but I want to read Squirtle first. Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell, powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. No. I want this one. Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with the Pokemon. Or this Pokemon. Yes, I want Bulbasaur. Come here, Bulbasaur. I want the Bulbasaur. Do you want to give him a nickname to Bulbasaur? No. It's brilliant and amazing as it is. I'll take this one then. 
Carrie received a Charmander. Hey, look. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can fight against it. Yep, seems about right. Hey, wait. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Jerk. Gary wants to fight. She's already a jerk and it's only been 10 minutes. Go on, Bulbasaur. Ooh, that's a failed first attack. That's good for me. Failed second. Okay, I have one. Okay, he's doing like a heap ton more damage than me. But... Yeah, he's doing so much more damage than me. But a good crit, so I think I might do well. Oh no, that's reduced attack power. Got two more hits. If that succeeds, it'll be free. Ooh, one HP. Bulbasaur leveled up to level 6, because it's a good Bulbasaur. Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. Like 109 or 175 monies for winning. I don't know what the monies are in this game, but monies, yeah. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Gramps, smell you later! Your son's a jerk. <laughs> I gotta say, this town is mega bright. Oh, it's slightly better. I shouldn't really do this yet, because if I try to level up, I'm going to succeed, and then I won't be able to catch low-level stuff. And my tactic relies on catching a Pidgey early on, so I shouldn't really be fighting. I know, the low frame rate's nothing to do with the stream. Again, original hardware, this game does not run at high frame rate. It does not run a high resolution. <laughs> As you can see from the tons of artifacts. That's not good. That's real bad. Right, analog stick doesn't work. I should learn some form of RNG manipulation before doing this. Go on, Bulb Soul. I can only control you up to level 10 until we've done the first gym. But, uh, in Gen 1, there's... Basically, if you catch a Pokemon at low level, it's tougher when you level it up. Instead of catching one in the wild, you just get the instant strong from, uh... Fine, you just get the instant strong Pokemon from catching a high level one. Wow, that is some glitchy... No, the glitchy isn't as bad when you're not watching it blown up to like 1440p. 
I'm looking at the other screen and it looks fine, but, well, it looks okay. Hey, you can press for, yeah, his order came in, will you take it to him? It's I got Oak's parcel. And thus, I just saved that shop owner a lot of money hiring a courier to walk down here. It's so hard as well. I mean, this would have been real difficult to do without, like, you know, me to do it. it should have been paid. <sighs> Come on, Oak. Is my old Pokemon. Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented, it's a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Here's your parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Hey, Gramps. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request. Of you two. On my desk over there is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. <sighs> Dang, Gary. Take these with you. Take our Pokédex from Professor Oak. To make a complete guide to all the Pokémon in the world? That was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon. Greatest undertaking in Pokemon history, I'm guessing, Swing. Or probably what Yachi said. Alright, Gramps, leave it to you all to me. <laughs> hey, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map for my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. <laughs> Your kid's a jerk. I'm so glad he's so much nicer than the kid, because, yeah, Gary, you're a jerk. Modern gens, you get money. I right, know you start off with money in this, but you work at the Pokemon. That's yes. Okay. <laughs> Here you go, free potion. I mean, they're not exactly harsh on you. We're not like talking and giving you nothing. Want to catch this Pokemon? Oh, here we go. Hi there, may I help? Yeah, sure. Uh, Pokeballs, please. Because we all know Pokeballs have about a 2% chance of catching. I don't know how bad it got, how much better it got in future gens, but I know in Gen 1, it's about the same chance with Pokemon Go. <laughs> Mostly from what I've heard, the capture mechanic was just broken in Gen 1. Come on, low level Pidgey. That's what I want, low level Pidgey. What is the Gen 2 equivalent, or the Gen 1 equivalent of, because it's Mankey in red, and, but I can't remember what you get in blue. 
But I also know whatever is appears immediately to the, uh, that side of Viridian City. Question is, do I get a level two Pidgey, or do I, or do I get the level three Pidgey, or do I risk a level two Pidgey? I think we keep going for level two. Uh, level two. It usually ends up being the best. Oh, go away, Ratata. I remember I had to use the level here and I could never get the uh, Bulbasaur. How did you miss? It has 100% accuracy. Yeah, tackle 100% accuracy, can't miss. When I describe this game as buggy, I am not joking. This is the improved version. Should I just give up and go for level 3? I'm gonna have to heal soon anyway. A few more hits like that, I'm done for. Got the pitchy. Pidgey, the tiny bird Pokemon. A common sight in forests and woods. It flaps its wings at the gra at ground level to kick up a blind kick up blinding sound. No, I do not want to give nickname to Pidgey. Watching the interface of this game, it is blindingly bright, but that's again down to the limitations of the original Game Boy. It was a very good system, but still. Also, I do fully intend to cheat. I have Pokemon Stadium. I'm going to get a Charmander and a Squirtle. Nope, oh, wrong button. Wrong menu. Free. My Pidgey may be able to win this. Go Pidgey! Ow! You okay, Pidgey? If it doesn't get another crit, I'll win. Well, mate, they did five on a crit and five on a not crit. Okay, it's faster, so... Bulb saw your turn. People have got sword and shield animations. Now, to be fair, a Nidoran is actually a reasonably good Pokemon. If it's next hit, I'll catch it. If it doesn't, I get a bit of experience. I specified hit, not miss. 
Okay, Nidoran, you're joining the team. It is supposed to be you get them into red HP and then they uh, get the ABC to catch. Okay, Nidoran, female. The poison pin Pokemon. Although small, its venomous barbs rend this Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. No, I do not wish to give a nickname to Nidoran. Now I remember a leveling took so long. You don't get teamy XP, do you? Okay, so... Go Bulbasaur! Yeah, growl away. With a 5 level advantage, you're pretty doomed. Even though... Except a leech seed. Okay, yeah, admittedly, restoring one HP just means I live longer, but as it's reducing my attack power consistently, it means I might survive the fight. Oh, and that happens occasionally. was its last hit point. V8. Uh, red, you get mid around males. Around here. The, the, you can also get mankeys, and I can't remember what the uh, equivalent for blue is, so that's what I'm here for now. So no. I know it Bell sprouts in blue and Oddish, I believe, in red. And then it's Ekans and Sand Shrew Swap. And this version gets Vulpix and uh, Red gets Growlithe. Or I know Menke's an exclusive and I cannot remember the equivalent. Of course, all versions get coffin. Damn. Do I continue to try for this mysterious one that I can't identify or remember? 
or do I go and try to get... Well, I can waste my time trying to get a Pikachu because they are obscenely rare. Way to go, Belso. Because it's Cat, P and Pikachu, just... Well, it's Pokemon, you've got to have their mascot. And I used to originally catch a Rattata as well, but... Basically, they have no purpose, so I don't bother with them. healthy enough to not see you. Hello, the cause of game-breaking bug that everyone knows about. There's no point going into that grass, it doesn't have anything I want. But I've decided to abandon the mysterious one. around here so I'm just gonna go get them. See I always remember there being much higher probability of encountering a Pokemon in here than this. swapped over the rarity of Pokemon, and I know one of them had a really high probability of uh, Cat's P, the other one had really high Weedle. But I was four years red that had really high Weedle, uh, really high Cat's P. I always had one. So... Pidgey. No, you're lucky you're not Klingon. I'd have to shoot you. I shot you for that. See, now this tactic is a mistake. So I like this bit of grass to walk around it. But there's now a spinner <laughs> at the entrance. So if I get really weak and attempt to leave, I could just die. And that equals an instant game over because this game is a little harsh. Oh, that's a metapod. Oh yeah, also metapods and cocoonas are the best for leveling at this point. Everything else usually gets around 30 experience. These things give like 50 and 51. I think metapods are 51 and cocoonas are... Sorry. It's the level uh, times 10 and plus 1 for a metapod. I believe the experience was. experience. Which makes this place a good place to level at least. Oh no, I'm not level 5. Heck no. I may have accidentally squished that one earlier, but I was intending to catch the low level one. It was a crit, so, you know. They're incredibly weak, but getting a psychic type that power this early in the game is really useful. And I think it's level 12, it evolves into Butterfree and immediately learns. Yeah, level 12, it immediately learns Confusion, I think, from what I remember. Uh, 
and psychic type in Gen 1 is ridiculously OP. Admittedly, there are some combos that like tear opponents apart faster that have been discovered since, but. It's like, hey, it beats them up, kills it kills them up almost instantly, and if it doesn't, yeah, it kills them up, that's a term. <laughs> yeah, it knocks them out instantly, or it just leaves them confused. They're what they're gonna do. Okay, level four, I'll accept. Yep, this is enough Pokemon I have to level. We could be here a while. Get in the ball, Caterpie. Down a bee, I'd say. Caterpie, the worm Pokemon. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. No. Once I get Pidgey up to level 8, it's when we start training Caterpie. I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to use Nidoran because Nidoran's pretty useful against Brock if you've taken uh, Charmander because it learns double kick and double kicks pretty effective against rock types. But I also have a bulb so which eats rock types for breakfast. I keep telling it not to, but you know. And if you ever try to get Pokemon to listen to you. That's the other branch level in here, actually. Because you encounter things like Metapods that give plenty of experience and don't fight back. So if you've got a low-level crap Pokemon on any team that you really don't care about, but you've got a level... So yeah. But you don't care about what points a level. Because that's a thing. Pidgey, grid level 8. Great. So... Caterpie, you're up first. I think Nidoran just goes in the box. Oh yeah! There's no auto-transfer. I'd forgotten about that. No, is there auto transfer? No, it's just an auto transfer between boxes. Once your box is full, it's sort of screwed. Oh, that's that's some haunting memories. That noise. Now, if you've managed like blind a legendary bird so it can't hit you and it just sit with it on low HP going, go Pokeball, go Pokeball, go Pokeball, just catch the thing. <laughs> so much of that. And literally you just max out the number of Pokeballs you can have and just throw every one of them and it just wouldn't catch. 
And that's with it weakened. We have a stat reduction of... That's with it weakened and blinded and like asleep. 99 Pokeballs don't work, 99 Great Balls don't work, 99 Ultra Balls don't work. <laughs> and that's all you have apart from the Master Ball. And I'm sorry anyone who didn't throw the Master Ball at Mewtwo was me. I think I caught a Pidgey with it. So like, when I was playing this, I was basically illiterate for all intents and purposes. So when it came to playing this, I'm literally going with big numbers good, small numbers bad, and just look at my RPG playing for everything. I think I just put like 15, 16 attempts to, to the Elite Four, I just... Uh, ran at them. That's pretty much it. Just run at them screaming, hope for the best. That's my battle tactics. My red save has 151 Pokemon. We don't know how. Well, to be fair, Pidgey's nearly taken out all the cards piece in one shot. Oh, two shots now. So it's pretty decent. How am I willing to put up with the alarm for the entire thing? Yep. One experience of Caterpie. I'm not turning this down. Go, Caterpie! How much HP do you think it has? 20? Doesn't matter. The minimum I can do is one. That's what I'm doing. Hey, did I go first? Do you like Caterpie to outspeed a stationary object? By the way, 5 HP so far, 6, 7, oh they have the same speed stats, they're alternating, 8, 9, and a miss, 10, come on! Come on, 11 HP damage. 12. Oh, she's looking like he has 20 HP. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. Wow, okay, we have the same HP. And Catsby got 51 experience. Catsby leveled up. Only went up one level, because if Catsby had gone up two levels, then it would have... Uh, sorry, wording. If Catsby had gone up two levels, it would have literally just skipped it. Which is a bit annoying in Gen 1 because if a Pokemon learns a good move at a level and you're leveling it like with the Elite 4, it'll skip that level and never learn the ability. That's a thing. Oh, I'm sorry about the alarm. Else! Ooh. I'm no longer in the red. I'm also not going to win this. <laughs> Someone else is going to have to step in to finish it. It's quite sad, actually.
Nope. I've... Oh wait, no. You can do it. Come on, Caterpie. Come on, you can get 61 experience here. Come on, Caterpie, I believe in you. Do you think Caterpie's getting a hug one way or another? Come on, Caterpie. Way to go, Caterpie! As I said, it's 6 plus 1. Oh, sorry, no, it's uh, the level times 10 plus 1. So I'm guessing Weedles were really common in red. <laughs> oh, okay. I saw a mark on the screen, thought it was a mark. But it's just the uh, edge of the Game Boy Tower because I haven't cropped it far enough. No, Caterpie, it's not that you're weak, it's just you're on 6 HP. I do this, I just stay out until the pp has gone. <laughs> Yay! Gotta be at level 6. I don't know what level Caterpie evolves, but... Sure is taking its time. Yeah, I've got two abilities to acquire, so it's fine. Come on, Pidgey, we can beat this up. To be fair, 25 and 30 are still decent amounts of experience to get, because Caterpie's uh, going to be sharing half of it, but... Ooh, Pidgey's nearly out. Secret level 9. I mean, I'm not complaining saying it was easy for people in the old days. Well, in the new days, because... I, I enjoy the new games, too. And saying that modern people are a bit crap would be saying that I'm a bit crap, because they've got you really good. more saying how far this game has come, especially with the small quality of life improvements. Oh, you're not going to win. Interesting. Okay, fine. Oh, so finish it. Bob saw gives Caterpie a withering look. Is that okay? Well, I'm so glad that isn't a trainer. I would set my Pikachu. I would say so no, I would. Wow, I do not have Pikachu. I would set my Caterpie on it, but it's a waste of time. Caterpie only has like two moves left. Oh no, it's getting all hard. Whatever will I do about that? Continue tackling it, Bob Saw. So. 
Bob sort stationery. Come on. You look at me faster. I believe you can only trade after you get your first badge, so. Catby and Bob sold about 25 each. Cartridge, you only need to get like 40 hours out of you. I hope to get more. Let's go against my fury that Weedles will come. Oh, and by the way, this team will be steamrolled by Brock if they went up against it. Just, yeah, steamrolled. That's an expression. Yep. It'll be absolutely brutal. Sonics is level 11, I think. Now if I had gone for no diversity in my team and just a single Pokemon, you can pretty much just beat everything. I mean, Bulbasaur remains consistently useful right up until um, Blaine. useful. Well, so, like Erica, but it's quite difficult to low level to beat Misty over water type. I mean, it just means you've got to catch like an Oddish or a... Sorry, Oddish or Bellsprout. Basically, you've got to know fine whip to get through it. Or I've bought a load of potions. That works too. A load of potions or fine whip. Actually, no, would a load of potions work? Right now, 20 HP, it's almost a full HP bar at this point. That'd be fine now. going to give me 40 experience. Let's get my HP back up, shall we? Take more than three moves, and there's only two more to get me back up to full. But Leech Seed will still be doing damage every turn, so there's no real problem with it. See, this is one of the games that's 
Well, I've always been worried about doing because the amount of time I have to spend grinding. I don't know. It's at 40 experience. What? Caterpie is evolving? Caterpie evolved into Metapod. I could have stopped. In my defense, I could have stopped. Okay. Okay, now you don't get the written stat in this one. Anyway, that tackles 100% accuracy. Come on, Pikachu. You can't catch Pidgeotos in here, because that is yellow on them. But if a Pidgeotto had turned up there, I would have been a bit miffed, if it mildly. I know it's pretty rare, but that match part knows tackle. I think it's probably about 11 this will give. And an opportunity to return to the Pokemon Center, because I'm going to have to. On it. I didn't read the Pokedex entry. Metapod, the cocoon Pokemon. This Pokemon is vulnerable to attack while its shell is soft, exposing its weak and tender body. Well, that was creepier than I was expecting. Is actually the ability to catch Pikachu in there. It's just rare. around on the desktop. <laughs> hey, that trainer just, like, all the personal ones that computer just comes to my desk, like, ugh. Another ratata. Kids had manners and didn't put computers. Oh, sorry, no, did they? Oh, back in my day, they barely had them. <laughs> but back in my day, they didn't just put rats on people's computers. <laughs>
Yeah, I can't think of a way to salvage that. Grab them to level 10, we can beat our way through this forest quite easily. To be fair, that metapod's got a good chance on its own now. I know its stats are pretty awful. And yes, I do usually have a Pidgeot in my team until I get a legendary bird to replace it. Anything but Moltres. That's a hill I have fought on many times. Moltres isn't that good in this. Go Metapod. Come on, Metapod. Opposing Metapod happens. Metapod, hit it. Aha, my Metapod knows an ability. I believe the correct expression. No, I'm sorry, I don't have a way to. That doesn't sound awful to insult it for trying to be hard. But yeah, it's basically going to take up my entire tackle ability twice to take these down. That's you. 27, it's halfway through, so that's 14, 28, we should have a few left over. What? Why didn't my Metapod learn Harden? I swear it was supposed to learn Harden when it evolved. Oh well, didn't need it anyway, we'll be fine. I'm sure it was supposed to learn Harden when it evolved. Don't tell me that's a feature they only added later. No, evolution skills have always been a thing. Oh, it doesn't matter, I was never gonna use it anyway. That's my catcher Pokemon. Come on, where you go? Okay, level four. I'll accept it. That could mean I miss out on abilities like Confusion. I can't think of any more evolution linked abilities, so... Because I, it, you know, we had that false start. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. It's not even that tough. Seven twenty six HP. Well, that's the end of uh, Matt Bart's turn. Also, if Bad Free doesn't learn confusion, it learns Psybeam a little bit later on, which is still a damn good ability. Entirely sure it matters which bit of the grass we're walking in.
any of my other things to it, it'll die. Okay, it's in the oven. Stay in the ball, Pikachu. I know you hate it, but it's not for long. Yes! I got a Pikachu! TT Rocket, that's how it's done. Easy, just go to the forest, catch a Pikachu. Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. When several of these Pokemon gather, their, electric, their electricity could build and cause lightning storms. No, I don't. I gotta love Pikachu now. Ugh. I just realized the downside. There's no special defense in Gen 1. Last week I'll just use Thundershock, it's a special attack and it completely ignores the effects of Harden. <laughs> Gen 1 only has one defense stat. It's defense. Special attack, special defense was separated in Gen 2. when I was playing this game as a kid, I did not understand what special was. My rule about catching Pokemon at lower level and training them up instead of catching the wild is based purely on the fact that several times I did it, every one of them was stronger and had higher stats after training. But considering the stats completely RNG, it could have just been pure chance. You never really know. Okay, Madpod, you've seen it, that's enough for experience. Pitchy! Oh, sorry. No, knock out the worm and leave it alone. I'm sure it'll be perfectly safe in this forest full of predators. Ooh, that's pot it lovely. So it's attack, defense, special, and speed, and that's literally all your stats. <laughs> So no HP as well. Hey look, I can overlook the obvious if I want. That's a level 3 hitting, heck, that's pretty strong. 
It's either that or just like everything else I've been picking up is utter junk. Go, go, Pikachu! So yeah, I'll just send Pikachu out against the Metapods. I expected to be doing like one damage and take all day. That was surprisingly effective. After I fought Brock, I'll add in the Charmander, because actually, no, Charmander comes in, in the series after Squirtle, and Squirtle comes in in Cerulean, or around Cerulean. I'm fighting Caterpie. Okay, so I'm just going to chuck Charmander in after Brock, and then get Squirtle around Cerulean. Which does mean I've got to level a bit, but I don't want a Gyarados. Okay, so my ending team is going to be... Right. So we've obviously got... Uh, Astros, Venusaur, and Charizard. Because why wouldn't you? I do want Pikachu. Charizard can learn fly, it's a waste of an ability, but fire types are so weak in Gen 1, it's barely worth the effort to train them. Sorry, fire types and their fans, but that's my experience of Gen 1. So we've got those three. We may have to get rid of Pikachu by the end. But then, sorry. The three starters, Pikachu, Dragonite, and Mew. Which is where I want my final team to be. I don't have any of that. But that does mean dropping Pidgeot, which I feel bad about. I mean, Pidgeot's roles can be filled in with Charizard. Or should I just not bother doing that? That is an option. Because if I don't bother with the Charizard and Blastoise, I just have them there to have the 150. It means I have two spots open in my team. Which I could put some legendaries in, but everyone had legendaries. Even I had a full team of legendaries. 
Yay, go Pikachu at level 4. Just one last battle and I'm going to head down to the Pokemon Center and finish up. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have the Dragonite. Yeah, I'm trying to work out how to get all the money for the game corner now. <laughs> Can I just like beat up some Team Rocket? Does that work? Oh wait, no, we have double speed. double speed I can do the transferring to regular money much faster or to like fake game corner money much faster. Yeah. Okay, the sounds of plan. Oh I've just got by a paragon that way. Hmm. That's fine. It's paralyzed and may not attack. Good. Opportunity to turn up. Pitch. I want to whistle along with these because it's what I would have done. But also, like that would hurt everyone's ears so much, so no, I'm not going to do it. So just save up here. Okay. And with that, I'm going to finish here. Uh, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoy me aimlessly catching Pokemon. Okay. Bye.